Let's talk about layout. I have this shower that I have a 12 inch by 24 inch tile that I have to install on these on these walls. So the first thing to note is that uh, a tile that's 12 inches by 24 inches is that's the normal size. And most of the time it's not actually 12 inches by 24 inches. In fact, this tile is 11 and 3 quarters by 23 and a half. So, 23 and a half and 11 and 3 quarters. Always make sure you check the actual dimensions of the tile before you start installing. Don't assume that it's 12 inches by 20. There are some that are actually 12 inches by 24 inches, but most are not going to be exactly that size. So for this tile here, it's, uh, as I said, it's not exactly 12 inches by 24 inches, but I can just use that measurement, 12 by 24, to get a rough idea if the tile size is going to be close as far as, you know, if I'm going to get a sliver or something, then I'll measure the actual size to figure out what my piece is going to be. But for now, I'm just going to assume that it's 12 inches by 24 inches to get an idea of what my layout's going to be. I put a line here that's goes down to the, the silhouette where my tile is going to end. I'm going to use this line here to figure out what piece I'm going to get in the corner. And then I have another line here on this side that goes up and down for where the tile is going to end over here. And that way I can figure out what this is here. So if I measure this here, so. 24 and 48. So I have just two full tiles here and then a little bit less than a half piece. And then I'm going to measure 12 inches here to see what my piece will be over there on the other side, which is actually going to be about the same size as this piece here. So if I know that this piece here is 6 inches, then I know the piece that wraps around is going to be 18 inches. So let's measure 18 inches over here, 24 inches over here. And that gives me about an 8 inch piece over here. So that actually that works out pretty good. So what I'm going to do is when I install this tile, when I install this tile, I'm going to cut the tile in the corner and then I'm going to use the piece that falls off to wrap that corner. So that works out good. So I have, this is my line where the full tile is, but seeing it's a running one. Once it's over here, and the other piece I'm going to get is going to be about 21 inches. So I have this. This works out okay, but I have also have to check what I'm going to get in this corner here. So my level. So I can bring a line down here. And this is all it's just approximate. It's, it's not so close that I can't use this layout. So I'm going to get down there and I'm going to get a about a four inch piece. So I want this to be nice because when you walk in the door you're going to see this piece. You're not going to see the piece down here. So I'm going to give preference to this piece because I want this piece to look nice when you walk in. So you got to get a nice layout and this piece you're not going to see so this one can be a little bit smaller typically you want to try and get uh, no less than a half tile but it's, it's a matter of compromises so i'm going to do the same thing from here 24 24 so the piece 
down here that comes into here is going to be okay because I'll just make sure that when I start, if I got a big piece here, I'll start with a smaller piece here. And that, that'll actually look good. And I've got a niche here that I have to figure out a little bit later on. Okay, so now I got this way. I got lucky on this one because it just worked out easy and easy now. A lot of times you have to make a bunch of compromises to figure out what's going to be the, 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 the layout because you come around here, you get a good piece here, and then you get a silver over here. So then you have to move it over a little bit to, to and make compromises. So you just want to make sure you get the biggest pieces possible and that you use the least amount of tile because you don't want to be throwing away half a tile. 11 inch piece every time you make a cut. So now we're gonna figure out up and down. So the floor to the ceiling, remember I lose a half an inch for every tile that I put up because it's only, oh no, actually it's 11 three four. so I lose a quarter inch, actually an eighth of an inch because it's gonna be like an inch route line. So it's 11 and 3 quarters. So I got, call it 10 inches. So I'm going to lose about, about an inch by the time I get to the bottom for the height. So that'll actually make that almost an 11 inch piece. But I want to see what I get over here. And that's actually not bad because I get a decent size piece there. So that will work on there as well. If I start with a full tile here, I get a very good sized piece on the top and I'll get about a four inch piece under here, which isn't bad. So that's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much the layout. Uh, this was an easy one. Uh, a lot of times if you Get to the ceiling, you got a two inch piece on the ceiling, then obviously you're gonna to have to cut the floor tile to make that inch that bigger. And this you always always have to make sure that you check what your what your um, piece is gonna be on your seat as well. On um, under the curve here, this is gonna be a little swivel, so that's fine. So that's my layout. I'm gonna start with a full tile over here. I'm gonna start with a full tile over here and wrap these corners. Okay, so this was a, a quick layout. Actually, well, it took me 10 minutes to figure out. Sometimes you, you, a layout's gonna take you an hour to figure out because you start in one spot and you get a sliver somewhere else or it doesn't work in another corner or you got a bigger bathroom or you got more ins and outs and sometimes it just doesn't work and you have to make a compromise. Sometimes you're gonna have to get a smaller piece somewhere to make it look better where you're actually gonna see it. So in this case, it was quick, it was easy. Okay, so to give you an idea of what that's actually gonna look like, I put some lines on the wall to represent the tile. So I'm gonna start out with a half tile here and a full tile here. So that gives me half, full, and then it gives me a good size piece there, and then the wrap is here. Then on the next one, this wrap is more or less the same size as that wrap, and lands over here and over here and that gives me this piece at the end and this piece on the end here and then it gives me like a four inch piece over here on this side I didn't, didn't um, lay it out but it's going to look more or less the same as this here so and then up and down like I said full tile on the bottom like a 10 inch piece on the top works out really good. So spend time on your layout and get the best layout possible. I could try and tweak this, but I, I'm happy with this layout. I think it's gonna look balanced and it's gonna look, look good. Let's take a quick look. A floating corner bench seat, six inch sill, another six inch sill, two by two tile on the floor, floor flex drain, that floating seat has two inch foam uh, as a support and it's all clad in tile. A little niche, they wanted a very small one, they didn't want a big one. And 12 by 24 inch tile on the walls with 
the corners folded in the corner. So that piece and that piece, uh, one tile, that's one tile, that's one tile, that's one tile, etc., all the way up and down. So the grain follows around the corner. 